Hello! Safe fire here. Oh man. Poor Red. That kid was trapped in here for who knows how many years and... Fucking locks himself in an incinerator, helps me out. And then I just kill him. Oh look, it's his pets. Oh god. How many hours did this spend? Jeez. Beauty parade. You. What are those eyes on them? No, oh, no. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, okay, well... We saved our friend. That's what it was. I need something to lever it open. Cut the power. All right, I misread. Oh, I'll see. <laughs> stupid voice and stupid accent, but he told me what to do. I mean, he tried to. He kind of tried to kill me once. Or twice. He wasn't even subtle about it. But hey, he led me to the right. Wait. Uh, how the fall? Do I cut the power off? Do I have to go back? He's getting low. There's no like switch in here or anything, is it? What is this? Um. Not quite sure what I have to you here? Wait, two drivers perhaps? A. Okay. <laughs> Feel like using a saw isn't the smartest move, but. <laughs> Is this actually the end? As I stepped into the mouth of the underground facility, there should have been questions, fears, doubts running through me. Instead, I was torn in two. 
Part of me felt had died along with my only ally and my friends. His final words raised more questions than they'd answered. And I couldn't get his screams for help out of my head. Despite knowing deep down that the pain I had caused Red was itself all the help I could have offered him. I was alone again, but I had nothing to do other than peace. Sorry, press on into the unknown. I felt so bad about Red. Should have listened to him and stayed where I was. I would trade his fate a hundred times for my own. The other side of me was looking forward to what might await me in my continued journey. I felt sure that I would soon find some clue or other to my father's fate, and that he was inextricably linked to everything that was happening. I also couldn't help but suspect that everything I had seen up until that point was just symptomatic of whatever lay beyond the threshold. I know now I was right. I had to read that one. I just had a feeling. Nineteen seventy three. Population. It's interesting that to say population instead of staff. It's like they had a full on community living here. Oh. <laughs> Man, feels good to see those words. Exit. No! Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, oh. Holy shit! Oh my god, what is that? Hello? Oh god. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, I hate this. I'm, I'm not moving. So dark. Oh, dude. Oh, oh my god. All right. Ah, oh, shit. There was a door in the left. Whoa. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Come on, come on. Be chill. It's locked. Of course. Okay, flashlight doesn't work! <laughs> What's this? Huh? Wait, I didn't read it. I was clicking. No, is that the end? What? Oh my god. There's no way it just ends like that. Dude. Oh, all right. Holy moly. I gotta say, I quite enjoyed this. I very much enjoyed this game. Um, <laughs> this was a very short episode. Oh, jeez.
more information on <laughs> the number overture.com. All right, I can't wait to play the sequel. Um, damn, what was it called? Number something? I kind of... It, it's escaping my mind right now. Um, but man, what a freaking adventure. All of my questions that I've had throughout <laughs> this whole playthrough, I swear, not a single one got answered. So, it's like, I haven't heard anything about my father, which was the whole point I went up here was to like find out what the hell happened to him. Um, and then we got this red dude. Honestly, I forget what my main character, like what his name was. Um, I don't think red is my father. Uh, but honestly, I'm gonna have to play the rest of the series and hope that <laughs> all of that gets answered. Uh, I know there's this fan game uh, sequel that comes after the uh, the next game in the series, so I'm probably gonna throw that in as well. Uh, thanks to someone who commented that. Um, it sounds really cool. I'm all about fan-made sequels uh it just shows like how freaking passionate like the the fan base of this game was but all in all uh i i really enjoyed this playthrough there's a few annoying things here and there like not being able to interact with objects when you're if you're holding a weapon for instance which you know slightly annoying but i'm sure they figure that out in the next games and future games but yeah thank you everybody for sharing this experience with me and even if only f three people watch this uh, i will be a very very happy person thank you all and i'll see you in the next series bye bye